Hello there. I am Tigster2005 of the Prequel Gang, and welcome to another episode of Tigster Talks, the show where I talk about stuff by myself. So, recently I watched Doctor Strange, and I really liked this one. This was a really good movie. So, um, <clears throat> first of all, spoilers, of course. Uh, and second of all, uh, what was the second of all? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the, <laughs> uh, just spoilers and, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> the rest of the video, I guess. So, Doctor Strange. This is about a doctor who, uh, who got into a car crash and, and, like, uh, he had, like, uh, an injury that, that affected the way his hands worked and he couldn't really do all the stuff that he could do before, uh, and he seeks help and, and one, someone leads him to, uh, to a place where, uh, uh, where at first it seems like uh, like oh he might actually like learn to you know heal his hands but it turns out that it that in fact this place is like this place with like magic and stuff and he like learns all kinds of things there and yeah it it becomes like this whole thing now first of all I want to say the visuals in this movie wow it's just it's like they're they're like literally bending reality, I guess, <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. They're, like, bending physics and stuff, and, like, you can see how, <clears throat> how like, pieces of, of, like, reality are, like, being twisted and turned in all kinds of different ways, and it just looks amazing how they did this. And, like, this, this whole thing was, it was just great. Now, uh, doc now basically, Doctor Strange he learns how to use some some magic stuff, uh, and and like right before they started, they uh, like uh, he was like, oh wait, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this? And then the person there was like, well, how did you learn to be a, a surgeon for uh, like such a good doctor and stuff? And he was like, oh yeah, practice years of it. Well, here you go. But then. I don't know. Maybe the maybe it's just like uh, I'm not interpreting the time period, not not time period, like the time span of the movie correctly. But like, it feels like he learned how to do all this stuff like really quickly. Like, I feel like it should have been like months before uh, before he got as good as he did. But it feels like like no, it's just like they they have a few scenes with him like struggling, but then uh, but then for like the second half of the movie, he's, like, pretty good at, uh, at this, and I don't know, I feel like, I, I feel like it would have taken longer than that, but maybe, again, I could just be misinterpreting, uh, the, the, like, the span of time that it took, because, like, this movie, it's less than two hours long, so I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> um, actually, wait, is it less than two hours long? Let me, let me check. Siri, what is the runtime of the movie Doctor Strange? Um, but whatever, uh, that was, that's besides the point. So, um, oh, speaking of, of Thor, uh, in, in the first Thor movie, uh, Thor was, like, basically explaining to, uh, to Jane that, that, oh, and <clears throat> you could see, like, magic and science as being, like, sort of one and the same, and I feel like Doctor Strange kind of, like, has another way of, like, you know, interpreting that you know, message where, where like, uh, this world that, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe exists in is like, <clears throat> you know, you have, you have the part that's like basically just the, the earth that we're living on in like, you know, in real life with like just, just pure science and stuff. And then, and then you have this, like what, uh, what Doctor Strange was just, was exposed to that was like this whole other side of, you know, reality, I guess you could say, um, <clears throat> and that was, that aspect of the movie was really cool, just as it was in, uh, in Thor, although, of course, Thor did it differently, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it's just sort of a thing that, that was good, that was really good about this movie that I really liked, <laughs> um, so eventually, uh, Doctor Strange finds, like, this uh, this object that could manipulate time, and and one of the people at the at like that place was like uh, noticed that that 
Doctor Strange was like using it, and he and uh, he was like freaking out, saying that like you're not manipulating the fabric of time, you're destroying the uh, like the fabric of time. How like all kinds of catastrophic things can happen. Uh, but then later in the movie, there was like uh, a part where uh, where yes, there are certain rules of nature that you gotta live by, but also sometimes you gotta break the rules a little bit in, uh, to like for the greater good. Uh, which was that was interesting, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a that was an interesting plot point of the movie, um, and of course, like all of the all of the fight scenes. Like, I noticed there was like a slight bit of shaky cam, but like not enough to ruin the fight scenes, like at all. <laughs> um, like all of the stuff with like bending all of reality and stuff, like that was really cool. That could have been easily ruined by the shaky cam that was present in like. Uh, Captain America 2 and the first half of Captain America 3, but luckily, none of that. Like, sometimes it's, like, very slight, but, like, it's nowhere near as bad. Like, it's, like, I feel like if I, if I wasn't, like, conditioned to look for it, well, not, like, conditioned, but, like, like, after, after watching something like, uh, like, you know, before this, The Hunger Games, and now, Captain America 2, Captain America 3, well, specifically the first half of Captain America 3, I just, like, I always notice when the camera's being shaken. Like, I just can't not notice that anymore. Um, but luckily, this movie, it doesn't shake the camera much, if at all. It's just, it's fine, <laughs> is what I'm getting at here. Um, and, like, all of the things that, that everyone uses, and, like, there was this one scene where... Uh, where Steven is fighting some uh, some dudes in this building and there's like some doors that lead to um, other parts of the world like there's this one door that leads to a desert there's like this one door that like teleports you to a beach and some other places like that that was good that was a really good scene and although again this does kind of bring up the point I, I brought up before that like it seems like Doctor Strange was like not practicing this for very long, and yet he's already so so good at it that he can uh, that he can win a fight against these three. I think it was like three people who have been doing it for who knows how long, but like presumably a longer time than Doctor Strange was. So I don't know that that was like something that that I uh, that was that I'm a little bit iffy on, but like again, it, the movie was so fun to watch that it's kind of hard to care, honestly. Um, and then, of course, that, that point in the story, in the movie, where uh, where Doctor Strange goes up against uh, Dormammu, I believe that was his name, and he uses that <clears throat> that thing that was, like, manipulating time to, like, uh, go there over and over and over again, and Dormammu was, like, fully aware that he was just going back in, t back in time slightly, uh, just to uh, so that he could bargain and convince him to leave that way, and you could see that it took uh, that it took a lot of attempts uh, for this to work. But eventually, like you know, it was either it was either go away or be stuck in a time loop forever. So, uh, so Dormammu, of course, decided to leave. Um, so yeah, that was that was Doctor Strange, and I I really enjoyed this one. It was it was a really good movie. Um, I would say that like. Yeah, it's it's up there. It's definitely up there. It's like probably one of my favorites so far. Although most of the MCU so far has been like, uh, I could say that it was like one of my favorite MCU movies. Um, of course, nothing has topped the Avengers yet. Um, but you know, this this it comes pretty close, I guess. Um, I still think that like, uh, my second and third favorite MCU movies are like Thor and Thor: The Dark World. So. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to be excited for Thor Ragnarok, which I hope is good, but there's still two movies b before I watch Thor Ragnarok. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Thor, I noticed that, like, <clears throat> other than other than Thor, Doctor Strange is the only, like, Marvel superhero person that's, like, his, like, the name of the movie is, like, the same as the character's real name. So, like, for instance... Like, you know, we have Iron Man, but his real name is Tony Stark. We have Captain America, but his real name is Steve Rogers. We have Thor, and his real name is Thor. 
<laughs> we have Doctor Strange, and his real name is Doctor Strange, although technically the doc he is a doctor, his real name is Stephen Strange, but still, Doctor Strange, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's funny, it's like, I see some connections to Thor, and here we are, another connection to Thor, and speaking of Thor, the post credit scene has Thor in it, so, <laughs> um, I, I really like I really like Thor. I, I that's I you yeah, if, in case you couldn't already tell I'm really excited to watch Thor Ragnarok. But you know there's still two movies. The next movie I watch from the MCU is Guardians of the Galaxy Vol Two or Volume Two if you want to be fancy like that. Um, so I'll watch that when I watch that and then I'll make a video about it. So thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Turn on notifications. Follow us on Twitch and Instagram and join our Discord server if you want. And keep having the high ground. Bye.